Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the uh, WWE Network and just basically the report that uh, WWE put out talking about trying to make sure that they're going to be able to give their customers 100% satisfaction come WrestleMania Sunday uh, in just a few weeks. Just you know, a lot of people are, are wondering if, if they're even going to be able to pull off this stream, or if maybe uh, you know, some people have said that they think they're going to go out and they're actually going to pay the money for the Dota V pay-per-view through their cable provider just for the one reason of they want to make sure that it's not going to screw up and there's not going to be any problems yeah they don't have any problems you know paying the uh, ten dollars a month for the network and then uh, I'm getting my money's worth out of it I haven't even watched a live pay-per-view on it I, on my lunch today I just finished watching Fall Brawl 1996 I've watched a few of the manias I really love the Wrestlemania rewind shows um, uh, they're, they're putting more uh, content on there each and every day. There's more things on there um, that, that I think that I'll ever even have a chance to watch. I, I know that I've been uh, following my buddy Bobby, and he's been watching, been watching the Monday Night Raws as they upload them, uh, watching those shows all in the order, and he's having a lot of fun watching those. Um, someday I'd love to jump over to those. The one thing that, I, that I've always wanted to do uh, in my life, and, and one thing that I think is easy to do once they're up there, is uh, sort of follow the uh, the Monday Night Wars in order, and I mean like that. What you do is you like watch, you know, Raw, then you watch Nitro, and then you just sort of follow through day by day. And as like the pay per views come up, and you watch the pay per view, sort of like you're rewatching wrestling history as it's going. And the one thing that's kind of cool is you don't really have to watch every match if you don't want to. You can just sort of skip over it. To, you know, with the network, it's not like you're watching it on a live stream. You're watching it at your own discretion. Hell, the Fall Brawl show that I just watched. Uh, I said I just finished up. I watched over three different uh, time viewings just because I didn't have three hours to commit to watching this show. I just sort of watched an hour at a time, and each different time I, you know, had to remember what was the last match I saw and just sort of picked it up by that. But uh, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure that the uh, WWE is going to be able to do it. I, they, they say that they've been out there and they've been, you know, just stress testing, you know, to, to, to make sure that they're going to be able to hold the capacity. Each and every person that wants to watch it, I think that uh, you definitely know that you know seventy thousand people plus are going to be in the. Um, I was going to say the Pontiac Silverdome, but they're going to be in the <laughs> in the Superdome uh, down there in New Orleans. That's uh, you know that's a good chunk of change of people that are that are network sur providers or uh, or ne network subscribers. I apologize. You got to know that you know if you're going to go to Mania, you would, you would got to guess it's like <laughs> you're one of those people that the WWE is just. You know, we know they're going to buy it. Check mark. You don't even have to go out there and uh, and sort of, you know, uh, advertise in order to get them. The one thing that I think that uh, WWE doesn't have this year, looking at the card, honestly, it doesn't have that mainstream appeal that you know they've had over the last uh, few years. And that's just one thing. I mean, like you look at 27, uh, 28, and 29. All of those were uh, big successes. Uh, for WWE, you know, they, they built in you know, the million buys and everybody was watching. Um, and that was mainly because of The Rock. It brought back all the, you know, the fringe viewers, the people that hadn't watched in years because, you know, the WWE wasn't like the Attitude Era anymore and they, they didn't like uh, it, it being watered down. They didn't like the PG label on the uh, company and everything like that. And you got to wonder how many of those, you know, um, you know the, the, how many of those viewers did WWE keep? Or is it just the appeal of noticing that, like, hey, The Rock's not going to be at WrestleMania. They make sure that it's not going to be, um, they, they, they just sort of chalk it up as, well, if, he, if Rock's not there, I'm not going to be there. Um, the, the one thing that also is it, with, with the WWE Network, the way they change it, there's, there's a ton of people that are going to want to make sure they watch it live. That, you know, they plan their whole day, their whole, plan their whole day. they're going to either get the day off or they're going to make sure they get off of work and, what time does it start? It starts at 5? starts at 4? Whatever whatever time the show starts, they're going to be home. They've already got their pizza. They've already ran to the grocery store. They got their drinks on ice. They have the network started. And the stream is running, and they're just ready to go. But there's, you know, pay-per-view, uh, whatever they're going to call these, the big shows uh, for the WWE, I mean, these things are going to be changing uh, the way you're able to do it. I love it. I mean, honestly, um, like with the Royal Rumble. 
uh, I watched the Rumble this year, but the, the previous Rumble last year, I went to it. But, but the, all, all the Rumbles before, I had a plan, and the plan worked perfect. Uh, I never had a problem. Back in the day, I used to get off of work at 9 o'clock, and this worked to my advantage. I would stay off my phone, stay off of internet. I didn't talk to any wrestling fans at the time, except for the ones that I talked to on Skype and uh, Twitter and things like that. So I stayed away from those things, so nobody was able to spoil the show. I would work till 9, I would get off at 9.30. By the time I got home, I'd be able to turn on one of the uh, free streams on the internet, and the Rumble match itself would start. And I'd be able to watch it, and in my opinion, I'm watching it live, because... Um, you know, if I started tweeting about it, um, I, I might piss people off, but um, um, I didn't know what was going on. And, and with the WWE Network, with these these live shows, uh, such as like uh, the main event that they've been running, trying to see what they can bring some viewers in, or NXT Arrival. I mean, let's say like the show starts at 5 and I don't get home till 6.30. I don't have to join the show at 6.30 if I don't want to. If I want to watch... You know what has happened before. I don't have to join the live stream. I can watch it uh, from the beginning. It's sort of like through the on-demand section, and that's one of the really cool things about it. There's those people that are going to want to live tweet the shows. That's always really, really fun, and uh, be able to keep up with everybody else that's going along with what you're doing. And um, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's fun. That that makes any show awesome. I mean, like watching Raw, watching SmackDown, main event, NXT arrival, any of those shows. You know, tweeting with other people and you know, you know, trying to go off what other people are saying is you're just getting what the commentators are doing and everything like that. That's always really, really fun. There's people that are always going to want to do that, but now that you know they sort of stage it in the game, like you don't really have to be there if you can't be there. But um, I have faith in WB. You know, they, they've got a lot of money. They're going to put the money where it needs to go to. But um, if I had to put my money on the table, that's one of the things I always talk about. You know, if I had to bet somebody on this, you know, when I'm picking a match or if I'm, on this situation, you know, if, if the WWE is going to be able to run 100% on WrestleMania, we're talking a four-hour show. Um, they haven't been able to do one of these live uh, main events with 100%. The NXT arrival, that was a two-hour show, and that didn't run 100%. Um, as far as I know, all of the other, you know, live streaming things... I haven't had any problems except for when they, you know, advertise these shows that you know you got to go out of your way, you got to watch. Um, I think NXT was live. Yes, I think it was live to tape, though it wasn't live live to the network, so um, that didn't count. But um, they just haven't really been able to do this. And like you know, the the live main events, the first one was sort of built up big because Daniel Bryan had a big match, and the matches on the second one. Uh, last week with the uh, Dean Ambrose versus Mark Henry, and then they had, um, of course, AJ and Natalia. They had a really, really good match, um, but it wasn't like, you know, direct curb appeal. Like, if you put a poster up and you said, you know, free wrestling, it, or maybe even charge for the wrestling, it wasn't like people were really flocking in there. They didn't have Daniel Bryan, they didn't have Batista, they didn't have Randy Orton, they didn't have somebody like that to really, really draw you in. A lot of people really like AJ, a lot of people really like Dean Ambrose, but it, you know, were they really going to go out of their way to make sure they watched this show? Uh, I don't think it did. And they weren't even able to run that show at 100%. There was a point when just basically uh, it just got all pixelated and all weirded out and wicked. And, and the people that bought the WWE Network are going to be up in arms. I honestly can tell you that if I wanted to sit down, if I wasn't going to WrestleMania and the, you know, the WrestleMania stream... You know, jumped a little bit. I might, you know, can easily say that, yeah, I was a little bit upset about it, but it's not going to ruin my day. I mean, it's always going to be loaded into the on-demand section, just as long as I didn't miss, you know, anything. Like, like if, like if it's the main event, if it's like, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know <laughs> Daniel Bryan's loading up into the corner, and you hear, you see he's about to deliver the knee plus right into Batista's face and get the one, two, three, and that's when it cuts out. That's when you're like, what the fuck. But I mean, like, if it drops out for a second in the middle of a match that, you know, just has the perfect timing when it does, it's it's not the biggest deal. I mean, like, I, I feel like I get my money's worth out of the on-demand section. I don't even really watch the live network stream, honestly, that much. I haven't watched anything on there that I really hated. But then again, like, the on-demand, I mean, you sort of get to pick what you want to. There's a lot of people who bitch about the... Um, the live stream, always showing WrestleMania 25, always WrestleMania, WrestleMania 26. The countdown show's been on for the fifth or sixth time. You know, if you want to watch the WWE Network, you didn't have to listen to the, you know, watch that live stream. The live stream kind of makes it convenient for it if you just want to have something on. But, I mean, if you want to, like, be able to pick what you want to watch, 
they count. I mean, there's no way in the world anybody has been able to watch everything that they have up there. And, and you can see that almost daily, maybe even a few times a week, you know, that they're adding live things up there. This is awesome. This is really cool. W Network. I give you the uh, five knuckle shuffle there. I don't know why I gave you the hustle, loyalty, respect, but I give it up to you guys. Thank you. You gave us an awesome thing, and uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you.